Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to see how you can lock in the objects, your text or some elements in Canva. So if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. And if you are watching this Canva video as your first one and you want the complete course, we have a complete course on YouTube that you can find with the playlist I have attached in the description. So with this said, let's start our today's topic. All right, now we are going to learn something about snapping and locking. Uh, let's insert one shape. I'll go to elements and just select one shape, make it um, attractive color and increase the size of it. Now, once you grasp the concept of snapping and locking, it will help you a lot in maintaining your designs alignments. If you have some complex design and you don't want the shape to move out from their position when you're working on some other elements, sometimes the objects or shapes slips down from its area. So you need to lock it that, especially if you have some complex designs, right? So let's say this shape, if I move it around, it will show you different positions on different points that, for example, this is the center of uh, this design and this is the center from uh, the bottom here as well, like from like on this position, this is the center as well. And this is the center of the page. So this is indicating that this is some of the rulers that is automatically enabled, which is indicating the different positions in the design or in your canvas. Now, for example, if I want this shape to exactly snap between that middle, it will show you up here that this is the exact middle of the full canvas or your uh, blank page. So you can snap it anywhere you want. You can snap it to the center. You can snap it to the corners and it will indicate automatically enabled. So basically this is uh, the hidden ruler guides that will automatically guide you as you move around. Now, for example, if I make a copy of it and let's choose a different color for it. Now let's see if I want to exactly align the shape is something like here. And this shape is here. If I want to exactly snap it on the same lining as this shape. So once I will move it around here, it will compare the objects here as well. This is the center of the other objects. This is the top line and bottom line. So this is guiding that you are exactly in the same alignment. The only difference is on the corners. If you see the borders, the new shape is exactly snapping the border while the old shape is not exactly snapping it. So what we can do is we can move around here as well. Now, both of these are snapping exact to the page corners, which is perfect. So this guide is essential to perfectly align your objects and text within your design. Although you're just on the starter point, but I'm explaining in detail about all this, that when designers use these features professionally, it is very important that every object and sizes and text are in the perfect alignment for their design. Now, once you have carefully designed and aligned all of your shapes and text on the positions, like I said, you don't want it to drag a little bit when you're making your uh, other designs. So what you can do is just select all of these objects and lock it at their positions. So after that, whenever you try to move it upwards or just because of slip of a mouse, it will not move from its position. It's locked. So to unlock that, you will select both of these objects and click on unlock and then you are able to move it. So this is perfect option to lock the objects if you want the ease in creating your designs. So that's it. These are some of the options of snapping and locking the objects in Canva. I hope you liked the video and if you did, Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. This is Saad signing off from today's video. Take care.